This is actually a matchup where the double shine stuff is good. Okay. Because like it can just clip Nana and then like you get a lot of value from it. So there might be certain aspects of Lewis's muscle memory, certain habits that actually work out well against Ice Climbers. But we're gonna go jump into it. Yeah. Oh my god. Immediately getting hit off the top platform. There's the, the shine pressure that we we're talking about. Exactly. Talking about. Okay. And already, like, if you were to shine at their shield now, like, their shield is super tiny. So, yeah. And the percent on Nana is actually fairly high. It's so you, can, you can probably do, like, yeah, you can probably I love the, the back air there. Okay. Now, also is really good in this matchup because you can just, like, up B Nana off the top and she can't do anything. Oh, yeah, you can, like, shine up B and she's not going to be DI again. Like, if this wasn't Dreamland, he could have just, and, like, there was no Popo contesting, you could just up B and, and kill Nana. Right. Oh, okay. saves the backup climber. Okay. No, it, try, it tries to grab so that the Nana would just fall off. Yeah. But Nana yeah. is close enough to the ledge that you just grab ledge. So I see what you're going for there. Which communicates experience in the matchup, right? Like you can tell Louis, uh, Louis, oh my god, look at what <laughs> it's happening. Looking a lot more comfortable um, in what the game plan is for right. Falco here. Oh, what that was spacing. Scary. That was scary. I yeah. think that actually would have been a dead Falco. It if for sure would have been. For yeah, sure. Yeah, at 60, it's over. Okay, here. I, I like the pressure, actually, from, from Lewis. It's it's like you were saying. It's good knowledge of how the character works. Trying to get in between them to split them up with the shine. Oh, oh the my god. I'm surprised that didn't get punished, to be honest. Nice. Okay. Sent entirely a different way. Really good punish stuff from Vecna there, so. Yeah. yeah, just roll out of it entirely. Actually, I remember talking about how uh, Lewis was really good at comboing off of laser. That's also gonna be really valuable here. Uh, getting those kind of like quick shine openings, uh, really, really good in certain spots, especially against Nana. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, this could be big though. Oh. Oh, got it. Got out of the down nice. throw down air. At the right DI. You basically have to like mash the control stick like down in a way, and that's how you get out of it. And it's it's annoying. And like kind of also try to hold the C stick a little bit, but it's more the control stick. Yeah. That way you can land on the ground a little bit faster. Yes. You're like further away, and then you can land onto the ground faster and be actionable before the the grab comes out. Yeah, but this shouldn't be too much more percent. Hopefully for the Falco's end. There'll be a lot of extra credit here for the for Beckman. One thing I think uh, in this matchup that isn't always as bad in other top tier matchups is I think that Falco like completely shits on uh, Popo. Like when it's when it's just like a, like a Sopo, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is like insanely one sided. It feels as the Falco like everything you're doing just beats everything that Sopo is doing. Oh, and sure. then as soon as you get them back in the picture, you're like, oh my god, this character's good again. But it is so night and day in a way that like. Other matchups, they might have like a little bit more stuff going on, and they still have the punish going on. But oh, that's a big SD. That is a huge SD for how close everything was going. Oh, that's not a good trade. Ah, this is bad. Oh, amazing angle though. Just needed that angle. This is so much extra percent though. Just like getting hit by double aerial from Icy feels so bad. Okay. The name of the game is to not take too much percent here. Can you get a back air? Good recovery. Like, even that recovery, for example, because of his full hop speed, he can just chase that. Like, we're in a way that other characters sometimes have to try to, like, read the drift a little bit. Yeah. The main thing the solo climber has is, like, down throw tech chases yes. and down smash. The punish game is punish still very game. much online. Yeah, the yeah, neutral yeah. is, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like completely crippled. So, Absolutely. you gotta watch out for that particular thing. Okay, gets. Oh, uh, yeah. Aerialing while the Icy's is at low percent with CC on deck is really scary. Oh, is that okay. Just... No, not quite, not quite. Okay, good tech. I think that needed to be a re-grab. Yeah. Okay, get we'll to chase uh, Popo there. Oh, uh-oh. Trying a lot with these smash attacks right now. Okay. Reaching a little bit, uh-oh. All of a sudden, Nana like kind of misbehaving a little bit and that she's just doing nothing and it's allowing Lewis to kind of grab uh, this game back. Oh, Falco was stuck in movement, just stood there. But still get back, yeah, see? Uh-oh, oh my god. They both missed? This is getting a little sloppy. Okay, oh, but it. Nana finally uh, doing her job, you know, put, 
putting in some work there, gets the back air, and we're going to game two. That was nerves. Absolutely. From both ends. Absolutely. I mean, the Falco literally stood there yes. and then got smashed. And not in like the good way where they're pausing and like reading a roll yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. and they're like, what, what's going on, man? You okay? <laughs> like frozen. Okay. Um. Getting hit by those aerials again. So scary. Great corner pressure from the ICs. So I was talking earlier about uh, up B being really good versus uh, Nana. This is where it's amazing. Like you just up tilt her at like like say 60, go to the top platform, shine, and then up B, and she it doesn't even need to combo. She just falls down into it and she dies. Right, 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 so right. something to watch out for here, for sure. Yeah, the shine combos are always so good on a stage like this. Nope. Yeah, I actually was like, is she gone? <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> are you still there? Like. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe I'll be there. Would have been an interesting position to at least threaten it. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Ooh, okay. You'll see uh, Bobby do it a lot, or Chicken Man. You know, come yeah, up to date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Down tilt with the shield is a little bit low. I like it. I've been really wondering what the, like, rock tag is. Like, is it corn backwards? Oh, I have no idea. That's a great guess, actually. Gotta, ooh, oh. Like, this is where you do it. You just you just up tilt, and then you shine up B. Right. Oh my god. I saw the force smash come out for the Falco's end and then just nothing. Opting really? to hit the backup climber and then getting hit by the main one. It's happened like two or three times over the the last few interactions. That's one of those things that's like it's I find it really tough to call. Like, should you be going for Nana here? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. probably, but like sometimes it's like really worked out that uh, Lewis hasn't gone for him. Like right. now it didn't it's like actual, actually. Was that worked Randall? Out, right? That was Randall, right? I, it has to be, right? Right, she, she <laughs> jumped off Randall? She don't got a second up B that works just on her own, you know, like... Insane, Randall again? Oh my god. Okay, how do you get down? Instant you don't. Up. Yeah, you don't. Okay, okay, what's uh, what's Falco gonna do with the lead here? Could really run away with it. I think this is where you try to like do a lot of full hop spam just to kind of open them up, but already getting it going and already losing it. Oh, Amazing great slide, off. slide offs. The slide offs have been so good the whole time. Laser down tilt also has been really nice. It keeps you at that like little bit further yes. away distance. Okay, okay. Oh. Throw is also a really smart option against like yes. drivers. Okay. That forward throw is okay. This is where you kill Nana. Yeah. Oh, but I think that's worth. Yeah, I agree. I oh, agree. it's not. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> this is what like, I'm what? saying. Like, it's like it's surprisingly tricky to lab out. Yeah. Like sometimes you're like definitely go for it, and then you're like, uh, oh, actually no, now you you got nothing. Yeah. But really big lead here. Uh, the slide offs have been so key. Slide off into shine too. Okay. That's good to just go through the platform like that. I mean, there was an aerial or there was an up to waiting for you. Ouch. Go to ledge. Oh, didn't go to ledge. That's a surprise. Oh, oh my, god. my That's... gosh. Sometimes the, the level one recoveries just work out. Yeah. With Falco in particular, just side B. And I think it's, oh, it'll Yeah, work out. you don't want to like ever discount the ability to have the recovery just kill you. Like oh, yeah. it, it is so strong. It's one of those things where like you can meteor cancel it. It's like, no man, it's, it's you're not just ready really for good. It. If you're not ready for it, you're not ready for it. That will catch the most seasoned of veterans. So this stage, I think, is really rough. At least I find it just like, obviously we know this is like a, a great counter pick for ICs, but I feel like I personally really hate playing on it. It just feels like everything that normally works versus ICs, you kind of like lose access to. Because a lot of the ways that, uh, at least I like to play with the, the matchup, is kind of baiting them off of a platform, like doing a full hop and then kind of mixing up whether I'm gonna come up or down. And if there is no platform to kind of create that mix up, then it's a lot more linear, and their patterns game doesn't get nerfed at all. Like, it's better. Yeah. And also, I, I saw that nice. the, the ICs were doing that kind of, like, double... What's the word? It's not Avalanche. Blizzard. Well, not Blizzard. No, uh, Icicle. Icicle, thank you. The double Icicle thing is also really nice if you, like, delay the timing, so you can, like, yeah. kind of wait in neutral a little bit. Yeah, it just gives you more, like, kind of pylons to navigate around. Yeah, exactly. Even even Blizzard is also surprisingly good, right? Because then you have to, like, jump over it or retreat back in order to contend with it. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Just went through all of it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's actually, go Falco. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Actually, oh. really on top of it. I love the forward smash. That's something we actually haven't seen that much. Really, really good move in the match overall. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, because it like pushes both of them away, even if you do get the hit. 
Sometimes it's like still relatively safe. Water ass fashion. Somehow the Nana is not dying. This is what I mean. Like I the target switching how. feels like, okay, you just killed Nana. It's like, it felt no, like she it. keeps coming back. I, I don't know how actually. It's been like three times I thought that she was definitely KO'd. This is where I wonder if it's like a move choice thing. Like even though it seems like, oh yeah, you just you do a down air there or whatever. It's like maybe for Nana you do a neutral air instead, and she's too far away because she cannot beat. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. these intuitive things you get used to. Okay, even though I said that FT's bad, like Louis, Louis, God damn it, looking looking good. Yeah, no, I mean very comfortable playing on this stage clearly. Because I guess a lot of the times that the openings were coming from the Ice Climbers were also kind of like those sharking aerials underneath yes. the platforms. And you're not going to have that here, right? It's more straightforward. I'm just going to laser you and then go in at a, at a good timing. And Lewis has got some great timing so far. It's nice to get this matchup after commentating the Spark one, because I feel like, obviously there, there's a gap between uh, Beckman and Spark, of course, but I feel like Lewis just seems to have the matchup figured out a lot more kind of cleanly, a lot more mapped out. Right. But a little bit of a comeback. This could be big. Yeah, this is a huge combo. Yeah. That's the that's a zero to death from like yeah. a, a Sopo. Yeah. Insane. Okay. Oh. I like the idea, but kind of wasn't aware of the percent. Still ends up working out because how does uh, Popo get down? Yeah, but I think you've done your work here. Yeah. You know, like that stock previously was beautiful, so you don't feel too bad going into this one. Oh, oh. I like, you just haven't seen like a really big handoff sequence this whole set, you know? Oh, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to set up. We haven't even really seen like down throw down airs happening too much either. There's no real long grab sequences yeah. in general. Down tilt versus down smash. Yeah, see, that, that's not sharking up air, but yep. it feels like it's just not really working out on FD. Yep. Waits, out the, waits out the invincibility. Good delay on the down air. I mean, you got. This is tough. What? She ran away? Yeah, I, I like it. I like did, it. Did you see that? She yeah. just like bolted to the she left. She got out of there. She did not try to go to the, the other climber. What was that? <laughs> she knew what she was doing. That was one sided enough that if I'm Beckman, I might go, should we go back to FD? Like, that didn't feel like the uh, crippling counter pick that it would feel like against me or something, where right. it's like, I hate the stage. Right, Clearly, right, right. Lewis very comfortable. Yeah, no, I think this was that was uh, Lewis's best showing of the set oh, yeah. so far was on that stage in that previous game. I think just very comfortable with the laser into downer timing. Yeah. And Beckman needs like some mix-ups off platforms, at least it feels like, or a huge punish game here. Okay, this this actually is oh, looking big. pretty big. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. No! We grabbed the edge! No! <laughs> the Walter White beam again. <laughs> no! Somehow, I feel like oh, Beckman, okay. Beckman's strongest combo came off the Sopo. Yeah. In the previous game. And that was because of FD. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's where, you know, yeah, like, but it still can, is great. You can oh, do that same oh. thing with both climbers, though. Oh, okay. nice. Okay, okay, oh. it's getting started. That is so much damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, hearing the crowd say they called that the Beckman, <laughs> the, you know, the, the hometown hero. We got, we got some stuff going, but oh, my gosh, Nana. Nana coming in and putting in some work. Oh, okay, that's good target switching there. That was the right call. Tries to get down tilt here. Uh-oh, huge combo potential. It's happening. Okay, uh-oh. Okay, this is actually just like so dominant. Read the ledge, okay, no. I like putting out the jab there, actually. The jab there is really, it covers some stuff. It absolutely does, the, the up to the ledge. Oh. Tries to cover ledge with the up air, then do that LP just a little bit. A little bit of a reach, but not quite high enough. This is a percent where you get like any solid smash attack and Falco's off stage. But and after all that, this is looking really good for Falco again. I know. Just stick with the Sopo, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's somehow working out. Better. Tactical SD time. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay. The tiniest little mallet hit. Press shield grab. Uh, the roll in. Good, wow. good awareness of the percent. Yeah. I mean, still a good lead here, though. I mean, any smash attack is going to get a KO from the Icy Zen. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just trading there is so good for you. 
I think it also speaks to the experience of uh, Lewis that we haven't seen a lot of those situations where like you try to attack one ice climbers and then just get like raw smash attacked because you like yeah. thought there was an opening that wasn't there. Right. Um, okay. Uh oh. There it is. Uh, oh, I like that landing with the down air there. Alright, but this, this is where Beckman shines with yeah. the, solo, the solo climber. You powered him up. This is what Beckman wants. They actually, like, really I'm patient neutral. Like, what is I, happening? It, what happens is I feel like they just get so much more tight in neutral. Yes. <laughs> I think the thing is that is that Beckman, like, seems to be... Uh, oh, God, that's just it. Yeah, it is. Sometimes it's like trying to uh, babysit Nana and make her do the right thing can kind of make your... Take up too much, like, yeah, mental stack to be able to actually play the neutral in a as sophisticated way. Yep. And I wonder if that's a bit what we saw there, where it's like, once Nana was out of the picture, it's like, okay, back to just the raw fundamentals, back to kind of like... The fundies. Yeah, exactly. The fundies, get the tech chases, get the down smashes, the jab resets. All right, game five. Another game five here for this block. In like kind of a lot of unconventional matchups. Yeah, so that's, not, that's not the one I would have thought. Let's see, is this for... This is round three. I would assume it's also for top 16. Yeah, this is for... No, this is... Winner of this has to play one more on top of that for oh, top okay. 16. Yeah, winner of this will go to loser's quarters, and then one more, and they get to top 16. Okay. Far enough away that yeah. the backup planner is dead. Yeah, just wait it out. Time your back air properly. Ooh, okay, try to do like a really tricky recovery. Yeah. To like kind of dip a little bit low so you don't get hit by that back air that was up high. That's a feeling where when you're the Falcon there, you're like, seriously, they're, oh no, never mind. They don't make it back here. <laughs> like, okay, right. we're good. Yeah. So tricky, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, not getting grabbed. I, I feel like there's been a lot of shield grabs coming out from the ICZ, and they haven't been working out too well. I think you've been reaching just a little bit. If you just, like, take a hair and try to do, like, some blizzards into grabs, it's, like, too much. I'm just trying to grab, hoping that you've messed up. I think uh, one of the things that Nikki, I agree with you, one of the things that I thought Nikki was doing differently was, like, just relying on some of the more fundamental, like, smash attacks and, yeah. like, back airs and that type of thing, and just, like, acting almost as if Ices isn't this character that's so structured around grab. Because when you stop and think about it, Ices have some pretty good moves. Some of their smash attacks are fantastic. The up air is pretty solid. Back air hits really hard. Like, the wave you don't dash have is to. Good. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you don't have to only kind of, like, set up the grab all the time. Yeah. Can get telegraphed if you're exactly. playing, playing it that way a little bit. The mix ups really help. Okay, trying to call Falco going to the top platform there. Unfortunately, doesn't get like a strong, juicy hit. Okay, good wait there. I love the wait for the Falco. Yeah, just go to. God, double aerial from Icy. That's just it. God. Icy's hit so hard they really off the do. raw hit. It just feels like, oh, I have the lead, I have the lead, I have the lead. Oh, never mind. I'm just dead now. Oh. Okay, yeah. Dash attack instead of grabbing there. Here's Look at this target switching. That was really good. Yeah. If the... Hey, if you're, you're going to get the save? Not. Yeah. yeah, you're going to get the save. Okay, okay. It looked like the lasers were throwing a wrench into the plant. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It just goes right through it. Yeah. We're, lear we're learning right now. Yeah. Great grab. Goes right into the smash attack. Good DI mix up. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I think going into Smash is really smart there. The DI hasn't been quite quite there on the surprise smash attacks. But here's the, the power up has it, like begun. The secret weapon. Will they even get 1%? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 That was so. Oh. What happened? Okay, last stock, game five. Oh yep. my god. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. There's been so many mashups. Just go for the thing. There's been yeah, so many mashups. Down, down air. I guess it's to try to set that up. Maybe yeah, yeah, it's like time. it's to try to get the timing. I, yeah. I, but the mashups have been so good at the low percents that you take something. Oh, great wave dash away. Again, yeah. just you gotta, okay. you gotta do it. But here oh, it hand is. Off, hand off. This, this is, this is it. All oh, you gotta do is it. execute here. Oh man. 
you guys missed up. a hard pop up from Beckman. That was clutch. Well yeah, you can still see the, the remnants. Damn. Really, really, really good set from both, both yeah. players.